Now snapdragons, especially the autumn started ones, will become very tall and the flowers can actually be a bit too big for your vases and arrangements. So what we do is we pinch out the tips. Now, I don't know if you can see already, we've got little side shoots coming up and you might even have some side shoots appearing at the base. And you might think that you don't need to pinch them because they're already doing their thing. Now, what happens is you get something called apical dominance, which means the hormone in the top of the plant is encouraging the plant to go upwards at the expense of these side shoots. So if we pinch out the hormone and the top of the plant, that will take that hormone away and apical dominance will go away and these side shoots will then be able to grow strongly and we'll get three or four stems for the price of one. So it's been three days since we pinched the snapdragons and can you see that those side shoots are already starting to wake up. Now we have removed the hormone from the tip. These are the snapdragons, a quick update for you, and they're doing really well. They're branching. We've got two buds here, we've got three over here. Now you don't want to pinch them again because that will make them too thin because what we're going to do is we're going to deadhead them after they've flowered in the summer and then that will be basically like pinching. So if you pinch them again, then when you deadheaded them, the flowers would be a bit pathetic. So we don't want that. We want to have the longest um, display in the garden as possible. So one pinch is plenty. This colour mix is really useful to use as an example because all the colours are different. So you can see that we've got four flowers from this one plant and two more flowers to come. So five stems following pinching. So when you cut this, it will branch again. You'll never end up with flowers quite as big as this again, but you will have more of them. They'll take about three weeks, depending on the weather, take about three weeks to reflower. I've just crouched down here on the floor and hopefully you can see that this is the exact same bed, the exact same flowers. The flowers are now smaller but there are many more of them. It's the 2nd of August. So they've now been flowering for months. That is an incredible return for your effort from a packet of seeds, isn't it? Absolutely brilliant.